an Oogpster beetle in South Africa. He hunts ants. Eating ants may give him more than just nourishment. He may get something else from them that helps him fight his enemies. The ants launch a counter-attack and nip his ankles. But he simply kicks them out of the way. The valiant ants drive him off, straight into real danger. A mongoose. It's inquisitive. But it's also wary of the Uchpista. A black and white pattern is a warning signal. The beetle takes aim and fires formic acid straight at the mongoose's eyes and mouth. The beetle probably collected this acid from the ants. It certainly makes the beetle itself very distasteful, and that, in turn, makes it worth mimicking. This defenceless little lizard carries the beetle's warning pattern. It also imitates the way the beetle runs. Not particularly well, it's true, but well enough to fool predators into thinking it just might be an acid-firing beetle. All kinds of insects have developed chemical weapons. A pair of Devil Rider stick insects. They fire bitter-tasting oils, terpenes. European wood ants under attack from a hungry crow. They fire the sort of acid that gives nettles their sting. So this is like one of us falling into a nettle patch. But the master of chemical warfare is the bombardier beetle. It can create a chemical reaction within its body so violent that boiling caustic liquid explodes out of its abdomen. By pulsing the jet 500 times a second, it keeps its rear end just cool enough to prevent it being cooked. 